everybody, Derek here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about sim linking and bind mounting. So, if you're new to Linux, that might sound weird, but I assure you it's actually not. So, I'm going to open up my file manager, and uh, as you can see, I have the I have a bunch of different folders. Let's look at my virtual machines that I've got here. I've got Ubuntu and Zubuntu, and it's in the home VirtualBox VMs area. I'm going to open it up in terminal and uh, there are a lot of different folders in here. There's two to be exact and uh, they're all located in the VBox area. Now let's say that I want to have quick access to this on my desktop. Well there are two ways you can do it. You can do a bind mount and now a bind mount will directly bind it to the desktop folder. So if I go into the the Zubuntu folder I can bind the internals of this folder to this folder here and everything will show up on my folder. Or I can symlink it and symlinking just means that it creates a shortcut. So let me show you. So to create a sim link, you go in the terminal and you would do ln s. Now, if you if you're sim linking a single file, you would do the name of the original file here. So if we're doing uh, pop.jpg, you would write it there. But if since we're doing a folder, we would do home virtual box and then we have to add the slashes because it's a space, vms, and then we would do Zubuntu. Then we would do where we want it to be linked to. In this case, I want it to be linked to the desktop. So now we can see the internals of this VirtualBox VM folder is symlinked directly to my desktop and I can easily go straight here everything it appears as if it's on my desktop but it's really not because if you go into properties we see the link target is actually right there and to delete the sim link we can just click delete permanently and uh, notice it doesn't actually delete that here and that is a sim link like I said this can also be done with just the individual files but that's one way of doing things. Now we could do a bind mount. So a bind mount is a little bit different. It's a direct mount. So I'm going to do this again. And I'm going to directly bind the contents of Zubuntu to my desktop. So to do that, I would do sudo, sudo mount dash dash bind, and then the directory, which is VirtualBox VMs, then Zubuntu, and then I would do desktop. I have to enter my password. And then if we look here on my desktop, it's directly mounted here. And you can't actually see it on my desktop here because of some changes I've made to my desktop environment. But if we go here on the desktop, we see that it's it's saying it has six things totaling in 5.0 gigabytes and uh, everything from the VirtualBox VMs folder is in the same spot on my desktop. And then if I want to unmount the bind, I would just unmount it like a regular thing. So I would do sudo umount desktop. Now what that'll do is I'll go back to desktop and there's nothing there. It's no longer binded. Now there are different things that you can do with these two commands, but suffice it to say, symlinking is good for when you need to get contents or a quick shortcut from one place to another. Like you have a hard drive mounted in a certain location and you want to easily access it in another location. For example, if you mount an external hard drive like uh, if I mount this hard drive here in the slash MNT directory, but I want to easily access it in my music folder, I can do a symlink, much like I did here. 
a bind mount is good if you want to directly interact with that drive and have it in a another directory this is good if you're running like a server or something like that where you want people to access the drives the data on it but you don't want them to mess with the permissions or you want them to be restricted to a certain area that's a good way to do it anyways guys just a brief video on how to use bind mounts and symlinks uh, it's they're both very powerful tools once you understand them they might not seem like it but once you figure it out bind mounting and symlinking super useful anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i will see you